Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another uh, Phantom 3 Professional video. Now this would also be applicable to the uh, uh, to the Phantom 3 Advanced or the Phantom 3 Standard. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is talk about a new FPV screen that I'm using for my Phantom 3 Professional. Now if you've seen my previous videos, you've noticed that I flew with the iPhone 6 Plus and that was because the iPhone 6 Plus is also my phone, so I only had to carry one device. But due to the larger size of the iPhone 6 Plus, I found that sometimes it, it may overheat, unfortunately, when flying with the Phantom 3. So for that reason, I picked this up. And sure, I could have gone with a larger tablet, I could have spent a lot more money, and I could have had something that wasn't as portable as this. But you can check the link within this video's description, and find this iPod Touch. Now there's several different versions and not every version will work with the Phantom 3 but we're going to turn this on and I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to turn my controller on and then I'm going to turn my Phantom 3 Pro on. Obviously worth, worth mentioning I do have the uh, the most current Phantom 3 professional firmware on both the controller and the uh, and the Phantom 3 and then I've got the iPod Touch connected by way of this short uh, cable and you can find this iPod Touch the Phantom 3 the cable and everything check the link within this video's description it's all there uh, but once this powers up here I'm going to turn on the app and I'm actually going to shift over there so you can see what I see on the screen here And it's, you know, being a retina display, it is very clear, in my professional opinion. And now it says, Phantom 3 Professional, aircraft connected. You see right there in green, it says aircraft connected. So I'm going to enter camera view. Safety tutorial. Now, you know, <laughs> being the drone evangelist, that safety is paramount for me. So... Uh, if, if you're new to drones, I would definitely read this and I would definitely seek a lot of education online as well as the owner's manual before I even went to a safe and responsible location to enjoy the hobby. Uh, but since I feel confident with my level of safety, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And then it says, let's see. DJ, allow DJI to access your location while you use the app, and I'm going to say allow to that. And now you can see here, you have a very easy to see display. Obviously, I can do the gimbal down and the gimbal up. Going down right now, we're on this, on this table that you see within this video. And now I can go up with it. Uh, one thing I do like about this device is that it is very portable, yet being so portable, it's still a very good screen. I mean, that's a retina display, so if you've never used an Apple device, it's just really clear to look at. So this is just the demonstration in the studio. Because I wanted to show you, I wanted to say, hey, you know, this works. You, know, you got out full access to your DJI Go app. You can go in and change your camera settings, format the card. I'm going to go ahead and format the card so when I do take it out to the field uh, that, it's, that it's empty. So, yeah, it looks awesome. Very easy to travel with. Fits the Phantom 3 Professional mount perfectly. So yeah, tell me what you think. Is this something that you would use with your Phantom 3? And if not, tell me why. Because I want to know. I mean, this is, this is without a doubt my new uh, solution for FPV while I'm flying my Phantom 3. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRixGuy. And most importantly, fly safely, fly responsibly, and also be sure to check out Drone Evangelist if you have not done so already. That's at DroneEvangelist.com. Y'all have a good day.